Hey yogis and beauties in the Pilates Summer Series. I'm Sarah Beth and I made this yoga for flexibility routine just for you. We're gonna start an extended child's pose. So separate your knees as wide as comfortable with your big toes touching behind you. Walk your hands out and lower your chest and forehead down to the mat. Relax your shoulders, hips, and all the muscles in your face. Just take a few deep breaths to ground and settle. Next is downward facing dog. Lift up, tuck your toes under and reach your hips high and back. Pedal out your legs to warm up your hamstrings and press your heart towards your thighs for a long spine. Walk your hands to the back of your mat for a chest expansion. Interlace your hands behind your lower back and with your knees bent, head hanging heavy, reach your knuckles up to the ceiling and breathe deep and slow to create an opening through your shoulders and chest. Release. Slide your hands up your shins and pinch your shoulder blades together for halfway lift. If your hamstrings are tight, then bend your knees to release your lower back. Forward fold with soft knees and let your head hang heavy. Next inhale, stand up tall for mountain pose. Reach your hands up, but relax your shoulders. Think good posture and stand tall through the crown of your head. Long inhale, exhale forward fold. Hinge your hips and come all the way down with soft knees. One breath, one movement. Inhale, halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise all the way up. As you exhale, fold. Come all the way down. Next, long inhale. Halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose on your breath in. Find good posture. Relaxed shoulders. And follow your exhale all the way down. Forward fold. One more halfway lift. Long breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hands out to a high plank. Then drop your knees down to the mat for a modified high plank. Engage your core and keep your neck in line with your spine. From here, bend your elbows back and lower down halfway, just until your elbows graze your ribs. For upward facing dog, lift your knees and chest so your hands and tops of feet are the only things on the mat. Then curl your toes under and reach your hips back into downward facing dog. Big breath in. Full breath out. Inhale and reach your right leg high. As you exhale, step it through to a low lunge so your knee is stacked on top of your ankle. Drop your left knee down to the mat and reach your arms up for crescent moon. To make sure your legs are stable, imagine you are trying to pull your right heel and left knee towards each other. Then tuck your tailbone under and engage your abs. Breathe even deeper. Next, shift your hips back and straighten out your right leg for a splits prep. With each deep inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, fold a little deeper over your right leg. Now bend your right knee, plant your left hand down, lift your back knee off the mat and reach your right hand high. 
Stack your shoulders and stretch through your hips to drive your heart forward and left heel back. Maintain a slow and deep breath. Slowly lower your left knee back down to the mat and reach your right hand back to grab onto your left ankle for a quad stretch. If you're feeling especially tight today, just remember that even if you're just reaching for your ankle, you're increasing your flexibility, so don't give up. Just sink into your hips and breathe. Release. Step your right foot back for a modified chaturanga high to low. Knees down, core is strong. Lower down halfway with your elbows pinching in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, reach your left leg high. As you exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Drop your back knee down and rise, crescent moon. Stabilize your legs like you're trying to scissor your front heel and back knee together. Tuck your tailbone, engage your lower abs, and breathe deeply as you feel your right hip flexor begin to open. For splits prep, just shift your hips back and straighten your left leg. With each long inhale, press your heart towards your toes. As you exhale, fold a little deeper. Micro adjustments with every breath. Now bend your left knee, plant your right hand down, lift your back knee off the mat and reach your left hand high. Stretch your body from back heel through your heart and from your bottom hand through the top hand. Inhaling deeply and exhaling fully. For the quad stretch, drop your right knee back down to the mat and reach back with your left hand to grab your right ankle. Just go as deep as your body will allow today. Try not to force anything, but just trust that with regular practice, you'll gain the flexibility that you're working towards. And release. Step your left leg back into your modified plank with tight abs, lower down halfway. Use your triceps. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving on. Next inhale, reach your right leg high. As you exhale, step it through, low lunge. Spin your back heel down and rise for warrior one. Everything squares off to the top of your mat. So lead with your shoulders and follow with your hips. You can always modify this pose by stepping your back foot in a few inches. And a good trick to square the hips is to physically adjust them with your hands. Push your right hip back and pull your left hip forward. To get the most out of this pose, tuck your tailbone under and firm up your abs. Breathe.
For warrior two, open your hips and reach your arms out long like a T. Even here, tuck your tailbone under and keep your abs tight. Keep your legs as they are. In reverse warrior, reach your right hand high. Let your left hand just rest on your back leg. Think about breathing into a side stretch. And bring both hands back down to the mat. Step your right foot back to downward facing dog. Next inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Spin the back heel down and rise, warrior one. If you stepped your back foot in or physically adjusted your hips on the other side, do so here. Push your left hip back and pull the right hip forward. Tuck your tailbone under, abs are tight. And just deepen your breath. Next inhale, open up for your two. Keep breathing. Make sure your front knee is tracking open and not caving in. Tuck the tailbone, engage your core, and soften your shoulders. Commit to this lunge and reach your left hand high for reverse warrior. Lengthen your left side body. Full inhale. As you exhale, bring both hands down to the mat. Step your left foot back to downward facing dog and pedal at the legs. Drop down to your knees into a tabletop and come to stand on your knees for half camel pose. Curl your toes under as a modification that will take some pressure off of your lower back. Tuck your tailbone under and keep your hips pressing forward the entire time. Reach your arms out long in front of you, then lift your heart, gaze, and hands up to the ceiling. With a calm breath, slowly lower your right hand down towards your right heel. Keep pressing your hips forward and keep reaching and lifting up through your left hand. Now reach your right hand back up and switch. Lower your left hand down to your left heel, breathing through the nose and reaching and lifting up through your right hand. Reach your left hand back up and slowly lower down to take a seat on your heels. Just close your eyes, deepen your breath and settle in. Come to lie down on your back. With both knees bent and feet flat on the mat, place your right ankle on top of your left knee for a figure four. Flex the toes back to protect your knee joint and feel free to stay here or go deeper by threading your hands through the legs and interlace underneath your left thigh. Now use your right hand to grab the inner arch of your right foot and open your right ankle up into half happy baby as you extend your left leg long down on the mat.
reach your left hand across to grab onto your right knee, and release your right hand and extend it out 90 degrees from your side. Pull your right knee across the body to move into a supine spinal twist. And if your right shoulder peels up, then work to ground it back down with each deep exhale. And come back to center. Take figure four with your left ankle on your right knee and find a similar variation to what you did on the other side with a similar deep and slow breath. Next, use your left hand to grab the inner arch of your left foot for half happy baby. Open your left leg and lower your right leg down on the mat, moving with mindfulness, not momentum. Reach your right hand across to grab onto your left knee and release your left arm 90 degrees out by your side. Move into your twist, keeping your breath deep and slow to ground your left shoulder and shoulder blade down to the mat with each exhale. and slowly come back to center. Pull both knees into your chest, squeezing out every last bit of tension. And release into your final Shavasana. This is a pose of complete relaxation. So relax your hips so your feet can fall open. Soften and rotate from the shoulders that your palms face up. With your eyes closed, relax your eyelids. Let your eyebrows soften. And let your jaw release so your teeth can separate. Allow your tongue to fall away from the roof of your mouth. And feel free to stay here, or if you're ready, curl up into a fetal position. Press yourself up to seated. Bring your hands to heart center. Sealing the practice with a bow. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today, beauties. If you enjoyed this practice, please let me know by clicking the like button below. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. And when you're feeling extra flexy, try my 30-minute level two yoga for flexibility practice.